are Feastable chocolate bars. And for the next 50 hours, it's the only thing I'm gonna eat. Why? Because Jimmy keeps sending me ridiculous amounts of his chocolate bars every single week. And let's be honest, I wanna know what this stuff is gonna do to my body. Will Jimmy's chocolate bar actually keep me energized throughout the day? Am I gonna consume enough calories? Am I gonna be able to continue to do my daily workout routine eating only chocolate? And how the heck is this gonna affect my sleep? Well, there's only one way to find out. This is hour zero. Dave, put the timer in the corner. I'm starting right now. It's been three years since the last Mr. Beast video I was in, and let's be honest, I desperately need Mr. Beast clout in my life. So, Jimmy, please. <laughs> If you see this, this one's for you. I'm running now, which is my typical morning routine. In fact, I finished a marathon like five days ago. And generally, while I run, I'm eating goo packs and soul pills. Not today, folks. Today, I eat these nuts. I also just realized I pulled these nuts out of my pocket said these nuts really loudly. That's your fault, Jimmy. It's delicious. This is way better than a goo pack. Everyone should do this. Go oh, these nuts. People keep looking at me on the trail. And I'm like, why are they looking at me so weird? They're probably thinking, why the heck is he carrying a chocolate bar while running? I mean, I get it, it's weird. Only three hours in and I'm feeling absolutely incredible. Run is finished, three miles, chocolate bar on a run. It kind of slaps. These nuts, they go down easy, okay? <laughs> it's Jimmy's fault for naming them these nuts. It's not my fault, okay? So don't be mad at me. I'll also be using the Whoop to track my body's performance, like heart rate and sleep performance. Do not try this at home. I'm just an idiot and I love Jimmy. I love you, Jimmy. TikTok keeps serving me ice bath content, so now I'm a proud owner of one. <laughs> Although, uh, this one is more like a kiddie pool. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I feel great. I feel like I actually have more energy. I don't wanna get bored of Feastable chocolate bars, because it's literally the only thing I'm gonna be eating for the next 49 hours. But that doesn't matter, because I have a plan. My house literally smells like chocolate right now, and I love it. I'm gonna heat this up. Yeah, I bet you didn't see that coming. After I consume this, I'll have eaten the caloric equivalent of a Big Mac meal. I know what I would rather be eating. <laughs> Feastables, <laughs> duh. Dude, this is looking good. It's like hot chocolate, but actually just hot chocolate. Somebody in the comments is like, you're an idiot. Yeah, well, guess what? I already knew that. I already knew I was an idiot. So joke's on you, guy in the comments. It's very thick. It tastes like I'm about to have diabetes. I was getting pretty hyper, so while I was eating my next bar, I decided to get a Christmas tree. All right, I'm at Home Depot. It's Christmas tree shopping time. I'm also like four, four and a half beast bars in. That's nice. I hope he turns that off. There we go. I didn't come here empty handed. I got these nuts. Mm. Ooh, they're kind of warm because it was in my pocket too. That was a huge dub for the Tweezy Army. Yummy. All right, now I gotta go get a tree. I mean, for that price, that's a good looking tree. Smells good too. Tree acquired. Yeah, you could say that was too easy. These nuts, they're slapping, baby. These nuts are slapping. That didn't, I don't, I don't like the way that that sounded. Dave, you can cut that, I think. Basically just an ad for Feastables that it gives you enough energy to carry a full freaking Christmas tree. Gives you superpowers. I feel like this is too big of a tree. I don't know if it's actually gonna fit in this corner. I'm nervous. It's a little key kind of wobbly too. No! Massive L. Dude, what the freak? Holy Toledo! It's huge! And I'm not talking about these nuts. I'm talking about the Christmas tree. Five feastable bars deep. I was starting to feel pretty beat after a long day's worth of eating only feastables. So yeah, this is a strange torture tactic. It is 8.45. I am officially 13 hours into this challenge. As you can tell, I'm getting kind of tired. This is actually close to my normal bedtime, and my wife decided to eat at this hour, which is... Okay, I guess. So I'm gonna watch my wife eat real food while I eat chocolate bars. <laughs> That's just mean to do. <laughs> Don't eat so close to me. Why would you do that? Day one is over and at this point I've consumed over four times the recommended amount of sugar. And let's just say that I'm in for a rude awakening on day two. Yep, I basically just spit out brown water. I mean, I'm almost done for the day, I may as well. Minty, don't recommend. 14 hours of only eating Feastables. I can say that I'm still kind of hungry. Maybe that's why I'm still eating it. Overall though, kind of doing spectacular. I'm wearing the Whoop. We can actually just see. Is this gonna affect my sleep? See you tomorrow morning. Good night. Guys, I'm dying. I'm actually just, I'm dying. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm 24 hours in. Do I look like I've been eating chocolate for 24 hours? I feel like I kinda do. Oh, it's not, it's not great. My sleep was less than optimal. The Whoop can prove that, but that could be due to a lot of factors. It doesn't mean it was just the chocolate. It could have been 
Wow, I actually do look terrible. <laughs> but it did get me thinking, and uh, well, I, I, I did some research. We should go check it out. Welcome back to Breaking News with Isaiah Photo. That's right, breaking news. This just in, Feastables is actually pretty healthy. Well, health, not as healthy as like a cucumber, but healthier than other major chocolate brands, comparatively, like, like Hershey's. No good. I've clearly been doing my research, okay? I have all my research glasses, so you know that I'm not only smart, but I've been doing my research. They actually are kind of making me dizzy, so I'm gonna take them off for a moment here. And the only search engine that I trust while doing such important research is Opera. One of my favorite features about Opera is Aria, which uses AI to quickly answer any of your questions. So we're gonna solve this once and for all right now. Hey, Aria, is Feastables healthier than Hershey's? Well, would you look at that? Feastables uses grass-fed cows for the milk in their bars, no shot. Oh, hey, it says it right there. <laughs> Let's go. There is no way that Hershey's is using grass-fed cows in the milk of their chocolate bars. <laughs> that stuff is definitely made in the lab. I also love the fact that Opera has a built-in VPN, meaning that I can't be tracked online, and Hershey's has no idea that I'm doing this research. Another great feature from Opera is Tab Islands. With Opera's Tab Islands, you'll be able to get organized by clumping tabs together in islands that you can collapse and give context to. Best part about Opera is that it's absolutely freaking lootly free, so. Go use the link in the description right now and download Opera. Real talk though, I am getting slightly sick of these. I love you, Jimmy, I love you, Feastables, but I wish that this was real food. My tummy hurts. And nothing solves a tummy ache like cardio. <laughs> oh, you thought I was gonna run without chocolate? You silly gooses. I never run without these nuts in my pocket. I wish I wasn't eating chocolate right now, but I am. It's not so bad. Although I feel mostly normal, even going on this run right now, I'll be super energized, and then out of nowhere, everything will just plummet, and I'll need to like take a nap. It's very strange. Another chocolate bar done. Let's go, baby. Too easy. Back to the pile. So I forgot to press record on my mic like an idiot, but essentially I was giving you guys a breakdown of what my whoop told me. So far the whoop is saying that Feastables is having a detrimental effect on my body. For example, my sleep performance is deteriorating rapidly. This is the first ever taste review of the Beast Bar cereal, recipe brought to you by prophetic chef Isaiah Photo. Is that even... Is prophetic the right word for that? It's definitely not. Come on. This is a dream come true. This is insane. Honestly, it's probably healthier than most cereals. Oh, you thought I wasn't gonna actually go to the grocery store and check? I actually ate this cereal a lot as a kid. My mother let me eat this. There's actually twice as many ingredients in this cereal, in this box of cereal that kids eat every day than there are in this chocolate bar. There's also more sugar in five of the ingredients are just like food coloring. I'm coming around to the chocolate bar. Maybe we should just eat chocolate bars. I still love you, Fruity Pebbles, but you're not as healthy as Feastables. Uh, these nuts are in my tummy right now, wreaking some havoc. I just want like a slice of bread or like, like a carrot or something. Anything but chocolate, I think. 28 hours in the challenge. 28 hours of eating just chocolate. I'm finding that it doesn't really matter how many of these I eat. I will at some point still be starving. I want bread so bad. Brother, this is hard. The pile grows. I just decided that I'd play tennis right now. And let's just say that I have a decent sized headache. But you know what they say, nothing. Got a feastful bar can't solve. I wish I wasn't eating this. I keep finding myself like opening the fridge and just looking for things to eat. Like, ooh, maybe I'll snack on this. Nope. Maybe I'll have some of the, nope. Maybe I'll do the, nope. Playing tennis was not a good idea. I, just, I can't make myself eat it. I probably do need more, but it's starting to taste like a sour gummy, but in chocolate form. Is that normal? At this point, I'm contemplating my life choices that have led me to this moment. Guys, if you've made it this far, please watch till the end. I've done so much damage to my body already. I am officially 34 hours in. I can start to really tell the difference between these chocolate bars. Now, I know they're different chocolate bars, but through the flavor profiles, they are becoming very interesting to me. Earlier, I was really hating 
these nuts, but now I just cannot eat the quinoa crunch. It tastes like sour milk in my mouth. I don't like it. So I made a mistake when we scheduled this video to be filming it. I was like, hey, Thursday and Friday is completely empty. Nothing's going on. This is perfect timing. That could not be further from the truth. Uh, I'm supposed to be hosting a YouTube dinner tonight for YouTube here in Austin. And I kind of forgot about it. It's dinner. You can see the problem here, right? I'm eating Feastables. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna throw up. 20 minutes and everybody's gonna be here. Obviously a little bit stressed about this. I freaked out on my way out the door. I didn't even, I just grabbed a box of these two easy buttons. I didn't know if I was supposed to bring anything. These are for sale online. You can buy these right now. Too easy. And now I'm just giving them away, I guess. I don't know. I'm confused. The chocolate is hitting me on a deeper level than I anticipated. And now I'm stress eating. I'm, it's not even dinner time yet. I don't know what I'm gonna do when they serve food. I'm nervous. YouTube literally sent an employee here, which just makes this 10 times worse. I mean, they're spending easily $5,000 on dinner and I'm not gonna eat a single bite. So, uh, I love you, Isaiah. Thank you guys for coming to this event. Uh, I planned it on the wrong day because I'm only eating chocolate, these nuts to be specific. So while you guys eat your delicious food, I'm gonna be ingesting these nuts. Um, What are you eating? Are you still eating these nuts? Are you eating real food? Yeah, I'm eating real food. It's so yummy. Come on, dude. Come on. Let's go bite. Go bite. Come on. It's so good. I really appreciate it. Does that smell so good? And it is, too. That doesn't smell good. It actually tastes good, too. Oh. I think I'm like 45 hours in. I'm so close. Feastables, you got me good, man. But I will be victorious. <sighs> Without a doubt, one of the hardest challenges that I've done for sure. Probably like 20 plus bars in, I lost count. And I'm gonna go out with a bang because it's the too easy way. You thought I was done? You thought I'd stop eating? Yeah, right. What the? Okay. Ryan, what the heck? If you thought that was good, you gotta try my stuff.